Veda Day 19. It's Veda Day 19. I just got out of the pool. And you can tell. I just got out of the pool. You and can that tell. is why I'm recording this. And that is why I'm recording late. this fairly so late. So today is a very important video, which is why uh, I left my family downstairs and I came up to record it. Today I talk about this bracelet that I wear all the time. Today is CDH Awareness Day. CDH is a uh, congenital diaphragmic hernia. Basically that's when uh, a baby in the womb has a hole in their diaphragm because it doesn't develop fully. It could be very very serious. I try not to make my videos depressing but this is uh, very important so I thought I would talk about it. My baby cousin was born on November 28th, 2014 so he was born on Black Friday. We didn't know that my aunt was giving birth. It was so funny because we had been talking about it all day. We're like, oh, I was at work at the time because I had to work on Black Friday because I work uh, retail. And I was like, you know, my, my aunt could call at any time and say that she's having the baby, you know? And she was, she was in labor at the time. The baby was born. I forgot what time it was, but we get a phone call at four o'clock in the morning, the next, the next morning, Saturday. My mom picked it up because she has a phone by her bed. And it was my uncle saying that the baby wasn't breathing right. You know, they don't know what's going on. They think it's fluid. We were all very, very confused. I was awake, of course, because the phone woke me up, but I had no idea what was wrong with my little cousin. I mean, I saw some, some quick pictures in the morning. That was all that we had. Later on, we find out that his intestines were were up here in his chest. Everything was just bad, very bad. They, they took an x-ray and thank God they did because they would have never known. We had no idea if he was gonna be okay. We had no idea whether or not he would, you know, survive. It was very, very tough for us that weekend for my family. My uncle told us about the x-ray, how it looked like, you know, spaghetti up here. We got projections that my cousin would stay for six months. We got very bad projections, but the surgeons said, you know, we'll have him before Christmas. He'll be, he was born on Friday, and the surgeons on Saturday, the surgeons when they were talking to my uncle or Sunday, one of those two days, said that he was going to be operated on the Tuesday. And he was. Making a long story short, let's make this a little more uplifting. And his intestines weren't up there in the womb. It was because he had taken a breath once he was born. And through that hole, everything got shifted. Now he has a little scar going this way on his body. It looks pretty big on his little body. He... He's baby, he's like, he's so tiny. He's okay. It could have been worse if they would have seen it in the womb, his his lungs wouldn't have been developed. You know, his everything was developed. So by the time that it happened when he was outside, they just needed to fix it with surgery. He was, he was a very mild case. And they closed up the diaphragm and everything is good right now. I just thought it was important because they still don't know what causes CDH. They have no idea. And if we raise awareness, you know, maybe more people start researching it. And like that, we could find out what happens, maybe prevent it from happening if we can. One in 2,500 children have that when they're born. And today is, is important. So, sorry for kind of like a downer of a video, even though it did end happily. He's five months old, four months old. He's turning five months next month, May. He's a very happy and healthy baby. He's very alert. Even when he was three we three days old and his mother would speak to him, he would open his eyes and look at his mom and he would respond. So everything's good. That was that was probably the worst weekend my family and I have ever had in our lives. I hope everybody has a beautiful day and I'll see you all tomorrow.